Oh wow, today's the day, isn't it? Today is the day. I'm not even exaggerating, but today is the biggest day on this channel because we are taking on Barcelona in the Champions League final. That is absolutely insane. I have not won this trophy since I think FM 2022 because I haven't played with big teams in a while. And this is our first chance to do it with the beloved Partizan. That, that is insane. It's so insane <laughs> that I've actually done the cringy thing and put on a suit. I am in a suit, I look cool, and I still have my lucky friend shirt that got us through the previous group stage. And we are all ready to go because the final today is at 8 o'clock on the 27th May 2028. Two weeks ago in real life, a Spanish team has won the Champions League. And hopefully this time, a Serbian team will win the Champions League. Do you believe it? Write in the comments. I want to see all your support because it's a massive, massive game. I hope you're excited. I hope you're not as stressed as I am. I am already kind of panicking. My heart rate's going off. So let's run the intro for what is the 60th time on this channel. And let's get ready for a Champions League final. Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty and welcome back to the biggest day of my life, the biggest day of your life, and the biggest day in the life of Partizan since 1966, where we lost to Real Madrid. I hope I'm getting that right. But this time we're taking on Barcelona, who have actually managed to do quite a good thing. They've managed to keep Javi. As you can see, if you trust the process, he will get you to a Champions League final. I'm actually curious, how many trophies has he won as manager with them? So the first year he won the Spanish Cup, uh, has he won anything else? He's won the Champions League once already, okay, so apparently if he stays on in real life for this season, 2024-2025, he gets Barcelona the Champions League, okay, that's wild. Anything else? No, not really, he's been a bit quiet since 2025, nothing much has happened, but this year... They won the Spanish Cup. They got, I think, second place in La Liga, which is absolutely insane. And now they're playing Partizan in the Champions League final. That is absolutely insane. Oh boy, what a day. What a freaking day. And to make this day even better, we have won a trophy this season actually already. So hey, we're doing quite good. We beat Serena Zvezda in the final of the Serbian Super Cup. And I'll be honest, the reason why I didn't show you this is that I forgot it existed. And I promised to you that we're going to have a massive Champions League final and I did not want to dilute it because we probably would have done something stupid and like there would be a very dodgy call by the referee and we would have lost the final and I would be very pissed off and I want to dedicate all my time and energy to the Champions League final against Barcelona. Absolutely insane. We are once again unbeaten in the league which is awesome. Anyways enough of this Champions League time. In terms of interesting stages well first of all Top goal scorers are Martinez, Vitor Roque, Rodrigo, Holland. As you can see, they're all quite close. And it is Vitor Roque's chance to overtake Lautaro Martinez. Is there a single partisan player anywhere near here? Um, the answer is no. Unless you guys can see. No, they're not there. Okay. We are, however, present in the clean sheets. So if we don't concede today, Daniel Kudikov will be the best goalkeeper in Europe, which is wild. I told you, this guy can cook. He's very, very good. And he's showing to you because he's... I thought, oh my God, for a second, I thought that was uh, Neuer. I was like, there's no way Neuer still plays. But Andre Ter Stegen is near him. And <laughs> I guess he's fighting for third place or second, I guess. And we're fighting for first, which is absolutely awesome. In terms of assist, the top assister is Yamal. And there's no one else quite near him. Although there is Ait Nuri there somewhere with four assists, which is quite nice. And talking about Ait Nuri... He's actually the third best player in terms of average rating in the Champion League this year. Which means he's going to have to start today, doesn't he? Oh my god, I am trying to build up anticipation for this final by covering everything I can before I actually jump into this game. But this is how Barcelona have managed to get themselves into the Champions League final. They started quite badly by losing to City 1-2. And then they recovered to be Juventus 7-0. Next game was against Dinamo Kiev, which was a 1-0 victory followed up by a 1-1 draw against Ajax. They're very strange, this Barcelona side. Managed to be Inter Milan 2-1, drew with Borussia Dortmund, whom we've beat. <laughs> then managed to destroy Besiktas and Valencia. Fair enough. And then, this time, they met Juventus once again in knockout stages, 
0-0 and 3-0 was enough to make them through. Beat Man City on aggregate 5-3. Played against Real Madrid, as you guys are aware from last episode, and have ended up against the biggest side in all of Europe, Partizan. Who, as you remember, were the runners-up in the 1966 Champions League final. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we add a Champions League medal today? I really, I really hope we can. Oh my God, today's the biggest day. Ah, I'm just, I'm just so excited. We have a huge chance to do it. Oh boy. But unfortunately, we're going to have to play this final without Tim, who is still injured uh, and scheduled to return in a while. And Martinelli is injured and definitely going to miss this game, which is going to suck because they're the two best midfielders that we have. And we've literally signed Tim to try and win the Champions League, or in my case, Honestly, I thought he would help us go just a little bit further. I didn't realize it's going to be this much further. Um, yeah, thank you, Tim, I guess, for doing a great job. But with that in mind, here is your starting lineup. And I hope you agree with this is the best team we have. And this is the best chance we have of, I guess, winning this game. And I hope you guys can write in the comments a better side than this. Would you make any changes? What do you think in terms of formation, in terms of play? Tell me, do you think this is the best thing I could do at this moment in time. You may have the benefit of hindsight. Please don't use it. Do you think this is the best team in terms of personnel? Like maybe you want to sub off Ait Nuri for Barco. I don't know why you would because Ait Nuri is one of the best players in this Champions League. So fair enough. What do you think? Tell me in the comments and I'm going to go through the team and tell you who's playing. And I'm also going to make some changes to some tactics just, just to tweak things before the final. You know, I am like Pep Guardiola. I like to tweak. First of all, who do you call goal? Kind of obvious, isn't it? The man's on a clean sheet streak. So uh, yeah, let him let him cook. On the left, I Nuri, one of the best players in the Champions League. Absolutely amazing. Milinkovic, Zabarni, the best back two that I think I've ever had on this channel. Fourth on the right, so I can guess I can say the best back three I've ever had on this channel. Vitek is going to be the ball winning midfielder, who is actually also a very, very good player. As you can see, you guys know he's very good. Good at positioning, very, very fast. So hopefully he can help cover. Obviously, Stamanic and Villagra are two midfielders because we can't really do anything better. Up front, Lachlan Deans, the Australian mad lad, is hopefully going to be creative, at least I hope. And up front, the duo of Popovic and Milovanovic playing in their first cup final in Europe, which is absolutely wild. I lie. We won the Europa. No, wait, we won the conference. Like we didn't win the Europa, we went straight to the top. Oh my God. Can you see I'm nervous? I, I am I am nervous and I'm definitely not stalling for time. I'm not stalling for time. But what about the tactical change that I've done? Well, first things first, uh, we've decided to make some changes in our diamond formation. First of all, we're going to be playing down the flanks because obviously there's a lot of space for us to kind of exploit in these angles here. And hopefully we can pin back their wingers and their fullbacks. And also what we're going to do, play a bit faster, maybe a little bit wider, just kind of actually use that pace a little bit and also cross early because I feel like our wingbacks are very, very good at, at crossing apart, apart from Foyth, I think. But look at that, 14 crossing, 15 dribbling. And in terms of Foyth, I think he has decent ones as well. I mean, 11 crossing, not too bad. But at the same time, he's not particularly the best player, I guess, in terms of attacking, but he is a strong defensive player. And hopefully by crossing, he can kind of work it in. And the fact that Popovic is quite tall, that will also help. In transitions, we are going to regroup because we obviously know how great Barcelona is at, well, everything, especially ball control. So there's no point of pressing them. They're going to outplay from the press anyway. So what the hell is the point of me trying to be fancy? Another thing we're going to do is distribute the ball to flanks. So basically just launch the ball as far as we can quickly to the wingers. Uh, wingers we, we don't we don't have wingers what am i on about uh we're gonna throw it long as well just to kind of make them run up quickly and that way they can kind of do something with the ball in terms of this we haven't changed that that's yeah we're still gonna press a little bit we're not gonna completely give up but hey you know keep one thing the same at least one thing the same right this is your starting lineup for the champions league final i've not seen the animation of a final especially this year i haven't so I'm excited to see if it's absolutely new. I hope you are excited. Oh my God. Partizan versus Barcelona. Let's start this. So we're currently waiting in the final and I'm just here going, who actually plays for Barcelona? Yeah, I promise I'm a better manager in real life. Um, yeah, I tend to forget things in the game, but let's see who actually Barcelona has. I know they have Yamal. But who else is there? Has Ansu Fati recovered and managed to play himself back into the Barcelona side? We will find out in a second. Is he there? 
it doesn't look like it. No, he's not. He, he isn't. He isn't. Fair enough. But they have Pedri. I'm not surprised. They have Gavi. I'm not surprised. Araujo, Kunde, Vitor Roque, who's obviously a very, very good player on 12k per week. <laughs> oh my god, the guy's being absolutely bullied for wages. They have Rafael Lewis, who is, I think, a player we saw before. He's quite good. They have this guy, an Austrian mad lad, who looks quite good as well. Noah Darvich, no clue who that is. Maybe I should know him. Where did he play for before? He came from Freiburg. But he, I think he started at Barcelona, didn't he in this, in this? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he started at Barcelona in this year's game. Okay, well, he developed into a good player, actually. A very good player, actually. 77 million. That's a lot. Who else? Who else? Who else? Well, Torres, Robert Rebo, some very, very good players. They haven't signed anyone massive, I don't think. Yamal is obviously there. Frankie de Jong, Ter Stegen. So they haven't done anything out of the ordinary. Like, they haven't signed any massive world-class player, which, to be fair, makes sense because they're broke. I mean, in terms of finances, never mind. They've managed to recover their finances by, like, a lot. Wow, okay. Maybe they've sold some players. Yeah, it looks like a huge jump. So who the hell did they sell? Okay, so 34 million made this year. 100 million made last year. They actually sold Lewandowski for 25 million. That's wild. 74 million they've uh, gotten the year before. Okay. 40 million the year before. So they haven't actually sold anyone massive. So what the heck is this? What is this? This is dodgy. Barcelona doing dodgy things, isn't it? But yeah, enough of this. We have wasted way too much of your time. I'm excited. You're excited. Oh my god, man. This game is going to be absolutely epic. Oh my god, the Champions League final. The Champions League final. We did it. We're here. I'm so happy. I can't even contain myself. How are they going to line up against us? They're going to line up in a very narrow formation as well. Pedri, Darvich, Yamal up front, Vita Roque, De Jong, Gavi, Balde, Christensen, Araujo, and someone on the right-hand side. Oh my god. The biggest day of our lives. I'm a bit annoyed that there's no, like, graphics when you kind of load into your first final. It's like, Champions League final. I wish they did that a bit more. Like, it makes more hype. Maybe there's, like, song sound going, but I guess I've turned that off, so it doesn't really count. But first of all, is it a smart idea for me to go off-key highlights and maybe extended highlights for this? No, let's not. This is going to be a massive game. As you know, I'm probably going to be talking through the whole time. There's not going to be a single cut, I guess, because I am way too excited and this mood is going to be quite, I guess, stressful. So yeah, I, I do funny things when I'm stressed, as Yamal does great things when he's stressed. And he finds Vitor Roque, which is only stopped by the best defender of all time. What's his name? Of course, Milinkovic, come on, he, you guys know what it is. Gavi will stop the... St there we go, already the first stutter, there we go. Gavi finds De Jong, what is he gonna do? Gavi! Another corner. Another corner. It's a third minute already, and things are a little bit panicky. Things are a little bit panicky. And I'm a little bit nervous, as Gavi will put up a cross, finds a Rajo, I knew it clears. Gavi is just standing there in the corner, putting the crosses in. Is he gonna find De Jong? He does, but Popovic is gonna run away. Milinkovic, help! Milovanovic, not Milinkovic, Milovanovic, help! And a tackle from, who was it, Frankie De Jong, who covers quite well, leads to a non-chance for us, unfortunately. But who knows, so far, so far, so far, so far, I'm stressed. <laughs> As, as you guys can tell, I am extremely stressed. I'm going to encourage the boys once again. And, oh my God, this is going to be a live stream, isn't it? This is a proper live stream. We're just going to sit here, talk, and discuss. I can't believe that we've reached this stage and we have a chance of our own. I Nuri, can you put in a beautiful cross? This is your chance, buddy. I Nuri, Milankovic, hold the ball. I Deans, Villagra, ball's bouncing, Stamenic, where's it going? There's a counter. There's no counter, Milovanovic is there. Can we push the ball up again? Uh, he's being very careful, find Stamenic. This was a chance of a lifetime for us. They're pressing us out. We find Hudikov, who is just happy and chilly on the ball. And... Things are heating up. Wow. But yeah, I was going to say, I'm so happy we've managed to go on such a beautiful run as Milovanovic finds Popovic, who finds Vitek, who finds Vitek! Vitek, Vitek, Vitek! No, 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 
Um, there was some noises, and that was my chair. First of all, I almost broke my chair. Um, um, <laughs> remember how much your keyboard costs. Remember, remember, it's expensive. It's a nice keyboard and a nice table. Vitek was offside. That was a chance. That was a freaking chance. Vitek gets a yellow in the 25th minute, and then nine minutes later, almost scores. My God, man, this game is going to kill me. I, I generally think so. Like, full manager as a game is insane. I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> We've reached a stage where I'm completely freaking speechless. So let's talk about the game. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about the fact that we've managed to take a team that had no money and turn it into a massive, massive side with players that are actually, well, our own. So we have, who do we have? Milinkovic is ours. We have um, Milovanovic and Popovic are ours. And oh my God, basically a fully nicely built side. And Frankie de Jong is going to play it out, finds Pedri. I guess it's two young teams versus each other. Balde is on the ball. Lots of space. Do not score the only chance they've had. Pedri gets brought down. Beautiful save from Hudikov. He's clutching up again. Milovanovic. We are big game players. We are. Every single one of you is. Apart from, I think, Vitek, which is probably a mistake to play him. But we've reached halftime and I haven't died yet, which is absolutely awesome. And in terms of stats, they've had the better chances. They've definitely had the better chances, but we've had exciting chances as well. This game is, like I said, it's trying to kill me. So let's try and pump up the boys. I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. No, it's time for everyone to dig in. I believe in you, boys. Let's encourage every single one of them because I think they can all do it. In terms of, I guess, ratings, uh, Villagra is not doing too good and Vitek is not doing great either. And I guess Milovanovic is not doing good as well. So I wonder if it makes more sense. Do I take off Villagra? I'm a little bit nervous. Not Villagra. I misclicked. Do I take off Vitek? Because I'm thinking now. He does not feel comfortable playing in big matches. And you don't get better than this. You don't get better than the Champions League final. So I'm going to do something. That is probably going to bite me in the ass. I'm going to put Sakamoto on the right-hand side and put Foyth in the ball-winning midfielder position because Vitek is on a yellow. He's going to get stressed and he's going to get a card. I, I, I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's enough. Sakamoto has come in and done a good job at wing-back. Hopefully he can continue in the second game because... We are second half. We are we are panicking, boys. We are all over the place. I need to take a little bit of a break, but I'm too excited. It needs to continue, and the fun continues. The fact that parties again, guys, we are what five seasons in, six seasons in into this game, and we are in the Champions League final, which is absolutely wild. And I don't know. I think there's something special about this team, but I hope we don't lose today because I want to win this for you guys. I really do. But I guess Barcelona and Partizan are afraid to make mistakes. There are some time for a sub. I was going to make a sub, but yet I'm having to wait. Stamenic finds Milovanovic. Lots of space. Araujo. Milovanovic. Dusan. Guys. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. I have, I don't know if you guys can tell. Hang on. No, you can't. I, I have, I have tears in my eyes. What a beautiful pass from Stamenic and Milovanovic scores a goal. 1-0 against Barcelona. I am, I've got goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. No way. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a deep breath and let's think about this tactically. Let's not get carried away. Sakamoto is injured. Mm -mm 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 -mm. He needs to come off. Who do we put on? I think Gilson will have to come on. I like Teklak, but Gilson is a bit more solid defensively. So that's the first thing. The second thing is Villagra is not doing good. So do I put on... Oh, I know I'm going to put on... I'm going to put on Barco. I am going to put on Barco, switch him for Stamenic on this side so he can be the carry yellow and cover this. And hopefully that means Ait Nuri will have a little bit more freedom to go up here. 
Oh my god, we have how many more subs? We have one, well, I guess we have one more sub to do. And I guess that's what I'm going to do. Do I take off Deans? I think so. I'm going to take off Deans and I'm going to put Moyanta on. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Oh my god, we had a big chance with taking it. Uh, and there's eight minutes to play. We are gonna... What is going on, boys? 86 minutes. We are playing it out from the back. We are playing it out from the back. Be careful. Nothing stupid. Hudikov, ignore it. Get in here. That is your role. Get here, please, so we can kick it. There we go. He's moved back. Okay, he heard me. Everyone's being sent forward. Hudikov is gonna launch it. Oh my god. This is football manager at its finest. This is the Champions League final. And the keeper, who is the best keeper in Europe, according to clean sheets, has decided to make a pass directly to Vita Roque, who thankfully missed it. Was this a Mignolet moment? It almost was. And with that in mind, I am going to make a change. I'm going to take off Milovanovic, I think. And I'm going to... I'm not going to take off Milovanovic. I can't, I can't afford to. Maybe I will take him off and I put someone fast. I was thinking potentially take him off. Oh my god. Do I take him off for a club legend of Saldana? I think the answer is yes. I was thinking of maybe taking him off and playing a defensive player. But I am just going to stick with this. I am going to chill and not change anything. Because if you change too much, then Barcelona can push forward. I think having three players up front will at least peg them back a little bit. And if they push too much, we can counter and score. Yeah, let's say this. Okay, so we have a few minutes, seconds, six minutes added. What are you doing, referee? Roth finds Lam Yamal who is going to be stopped by Gilson. That's a shitty clearance, Gilson. Ait Nuri picks it up. Barco, burn your pace. Barco doesn't. Scali's on the ball. Pedri. Pedri's in lots of space. Don't do this to me. Not like this, Ait Nuri. Not like this. Not like this. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this, Hudyakov. I beg you. You have a clean sheet. You can be the best goalie of all time. Hudyakov. Araujo steps up. Hudyakov. Hud <laughs> Ronald Araujo, with his 10th goal this season, puts it away. I Nuri. What are you doing, son? I Nuri. We're going to encourage the boys. Can we encourage the boys? We can. And I, Nuri, clumsily brings down, and it's going to extra time. As you can see, I'm really pissed off there. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> um, yikers. Um, okay. Okay. Um, it's time for everyone to dig in. <laughs> um, yeah, dig in the trenches. We're going to extra time, and this game sucks. I hate this game. I genuinely genuinely hate this game for what it's done to me. Hudikov almost led to a goal that we conceded and Ait Nuri has done the same. Do we make any changes? Oh my god, we don't have any good players to take put on. I'll be honest here. I think technically Tim, who is a bit injured, can come on. But I don't want to risk him unless we need to. Because if he tweaks something, we're screwed, right? So we, we're going to have no more subs. We have one sub, which I'm going to leave to for a bit later, and I'm gonna start the extra time. Just, the fact that you guys can pause this game, right? The fact that you can pause it is interesting because I'm here stressing, right? And you guys can pause it, take a break, and then leave. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit faster in terms of tempo, move the ball up a little bit, and in terms of everything else, I think it's fine. I just wanna move the ball a bit farther up because we're playing quite well. Oh yeah, sorry, I clicked it. But I want us to press Barca a bit more. We are already in the 105th minute. Is this game going to go to penalties? I swear to God, is it going to go to penalties? 
is it time for some subs? I don't know. I think, have you ever, you've ever had this where you just stressed? I'm just so stressed. <laughs> oh my god, 112th minute. We haven't had a single highlight yet. 115, 116. It's time for me to start thinking about penalty takers. Who do I take off for penalty takers? Okay, Popovich, who's absolutely dead, has 12 penalty taking. Actually, this way is probably better. Who is on currently? Tim has 11. Antic. Oh my god, Muinata. I can put Muinata on. Antic. Imagine putting Antic in this. Okay, so. Muinata. Estevao was really bad. Juan Foyth is really bad at it. And I guess... Oh, Estevao. I can't take off Estevao. Or maybe I can take off Juan Foyth, who's probably a little bit tired. Maybe I will try and time it better? I'll try and time it so we don't have too many minutes. Okay, I'm going to take him off now. I'm going to try and bring him on. This could be an absolute mistake. Juan Foyth is coming off. And instead, Muyanta is coming on. We need to have an extra good penalty taker. I think this is insane. Will he come on in time? I don't know. What is the answer? Will he manage to come on in time? Yes, he's on the pitch. It's penalties. The Champions League final has gone to penalties. Oh my god. I'm going to hand this over to my assistant. And it's time for Hudikov and Co. to step up. Good luck, guys. Actually, no, what? We practiced penalties in training, guys. We did. We did really, really well. I have all the confidence in you. We've gone to penalties. We've gone to penalties against Barcelona. Saldana is the first man to do it. He was here when we started this save. Will he score a penalty against Barcelona? He panenka he, he Saldana! Panenka in the Champions League final! The balls on that man is absolutely insane. Vita Roque. Vita Roque steps up, calmly slots away. Unfortunately, at least he does it now instead of, well, a way to make it. 2-1, which would have been quite sad for us. But it's time for Barco to step up. He's known for his penalties as well. Let's see if he can do something here. He's <laughs> he rifles that in the top right corner, and Tarstegen couldn't get to it. Udikov will step up. Araujo had one penalty against us. Will he have a second one? Hudikov, you know him. You've practiced. Hudikov, he goes the right way. Well, I guess technically Araujo. Shot to the right before, so Hudikov dived there, and he went the other way, man. So good. Barcelona is good. Moyanta, I brought you on for penalties. What can you do? You can give me a heart attack. From my from my perspective, right? I, I, I thought that went and missed the target, which is absolutely terrifying. Lemini Mal, a very good player, as you can see, will step up. Hudikov, please save. Hudikov! Hudikov! Another penalty by Barcelona. He's... Yamal is doing a weird dance. Why, why? Why? I feel... One day they'll fix these animations because he's doing a little... This. And it's kind of disrespectful. Popovich steps up. Huge run-up. Oh, composed. That run-up did not warrant such a composed finish. It was quite a cheeky dink. But it doesn't compare to Saldana with a Panenka. Juan H will step up. Hudikov dives the wrong way. And it is for four. Oh my god, Stamenich. The guy who came from Red Star. The guy who decided to choose the right team will try and take a penalty. Stamenich on the left-hand side. He goes the right way, technically, to the left-hand side. Ter Stegen is not ready. Hudikov, I have faith in you. You've led us to so many penalty victories. It is your final chance. Hudikov, I beg you. Please, please. Take this moment to hit a like button because for every like that you put in this moment in time, right now, we get an extra percentage chance of Hudikov saving it. And I feel it. It's a 100% penalty save. I feel it. Javi, Javi, Hudikov. That was anticlimactic. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, we're back to 5 5, and um, Estevao is going to step up. What's he going to do? Estevao. Down the left-hand side he goes. Oh my god. Terstegen and Hudikov are just... They just exist. They're here. And um, they're doing some crazy things. Apart from the fact they're not saving anything. But this is your chance again. If you didn't hit like, uh, do, do it again, please. <laughs> please. Please do it again. Uh, Azangisa 
walks over. The refs look kind of bored. They're like, bro, come on, I have a reservation to go to. Angisa steps up. Angisa, Angisa! He missed. He missed. He missed him. He missed him. Aignori, this is your chance. Aignori. He missed. He caused the penalty. And he missed. And Hudikov could have saved it. Rafael Luis, the guy we've called out that we are interested in signing him. Is he going to destroy my heart? Is going to destroy me and put a Barcelona ahead? I am so sorry. Oh. I am so sorry. We had a chance. And we didn't take it. <sighs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually... I may cry. Um, I think this will be probably the first cut of the video. Um, I'm a little bit emotional. Um, we've lost. We've lost on penalties to one of the best sides in the world right now against one of the better managers, I guess, especially in football manager. And I don't want to say undeservedly lost because looking at XG and all that stuff, I mean, Barcelona is a great side, but that XG was boosted by a penalty, which was caused by Ait Nouri, who I signed this year to try and get us this Champions League final. And apparently it worked. We, 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 got, we got brought to the final. It's just, we lost it. Hold on a second. So I spent a few minutes trying to think up of what I wanted to say, like how to like communicate the pain that I'm going through and how to make you guys feel better about this. And then I saw this. Michael Oliver didn't have the best game of his career. Uh, I don't like that man. I really, really, really don't like that man. But there we go. We lost the UEFA Champions League final. I guess Spanish teams are insane this year. And what does this mean for the save? Well, because I've lost it, and because there's still a little bit of summer left, I will continue the save because I don't have any other plans to do anything else. Hopefully next year we can do better. And I guess if we start approaching the end of the FM cycle, I will have to skip seasons to try and get to the Champions League final off camera. But the next season will continue. And I'm actually going to have to do an end of season review, don't I? Will you forgive me if I do it on Thursday? Yeah, let's do it on Thursday. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I don't think I'll be able to do the end of season proper stuff, like I said. So I'm going to do it now. I'm also going to have to take a week break because I'm going to France for a week. So... What I'm going to do is we're not going to have a fancy transfer window special, although we might, depending on how I'm going to be. But I'm going to take my laptop and I'm going to actually put on lots of thoughts into what I'm going to do to this squad. Because as we see again, and I will cover this more detail on Thursday, we have so many players wanted and we potentially will have to rebuild. Not because we need to, but because we might have to, because a lot of players could just be absolutely depressed and sad. At least Saldana scored the most beautiful Panenka chip to start everything. And I can't even blame my Nori. Man, like, what's his penalty taking? Seven. And it got to him. Like, he's a good player. He's actually managed to play a very good season. And unfortunately, he led us to a loss. Anyways, next episode will be the end of season review where I'm going to talk about my plans for this. What I'm going to be doing for the next year. In better news, we have won lots of money, 
which is very, very good. And we've kind of moved up as well in the coefficients, which is nice. Wait, we got 13 million. And then we got another 13 million. Hmm, 26 million. That's very good. At least the finances are there. We're going to have a nice little jump in finances. So maybe we can sign a world-class someone. I don't even know who. Maybe midfielder, world-class midfielder. Because I like Staminich, but I think Staminich, Tim, and Martinelli are not world-class. They're not Jude Bellingham's, are they? Anyways, I hope you guys, well, I guess enjoyed is the wrong word to use. I hope you guys were entertained. I hope you guys had a great time. I'm sorry I couldn't deliver. For the second time in partisan history, we lost in the Champions League final and both times against the Spanish side. But I promise you, next year is going to be better. Anyways, I'm gonna go, probably cry, and I'll see you guys on Thursday where I'm gonna be a little bit less emotional. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you for the end of season review in a few days. Bye, guys.